morning. It's Friday, December 17th. And when I was growing up, I was taught that you had to earn a lot of what your life depended on. And that was mainly the fact that you had to make a good, decent living and that you had to get a good education so you can make a decent living. But what I'm looking around this country right now, we are giving up certain rights to people who haven't really earned it. I'm talking about the municipalities that have taken to to allow non-citizens to vote in municipal elections. Now, I believe that in order to vote, you have to be a citizen. And therefore, you have to earn the right to vote. And what bothers me even more is I am 100% certain that those municipalities that want these non-citizens to vote are only giving them the right to vote because they are going to vote for them for the party in power. So if New York City, which just passed a resolution on this, they expect all these non-citizens to vote Democratic. And in Vermont, in two towns in Vermont, and Vermont is basically a Republican state, but these two towns are Democratic. And they voted to have the non-citizens allowed to vote. And the governor vetoed it. But the legislature, which was primarily Democratic, overrode the veto. So you see, this is like stacking the deck. And when you consider that we're stacking the deck, we don't need more voters. We need more people to vote. Our voting percentage in the last presidential election was about 66% of the eligible voters voted. That's one of the worst election percentages voting percentages in the world. So why? Why do people stand by and let them do these things? Why wasn't there a referendum? Why don't we just allow all non-citizens to vote? That would be a violation of the Constitution. So I don't believe that this is an important issue in the sense that it's going to help this country in any way, shape, or form. All it is going to do is keep the powers that be in place for a little while longer. Because hopefully these people who decide to vote now will change their mind later on and vote against these people, but maybe not. It all depends on what kind of goodies these non-citizens are going to get. I I don't know why we're wasting our time on this. We have much more important issues in this country. So we, in these cities, in these municipalities, are getting voters, and all of them are Democratic. All of these areas are Democratic areas. Because in the Republican areas of this country, as I've said so many, so many times, there's voter suppression going on. In fact, yesterday I ranted about that, so I don't want to get into the whole thing like that. But when when are we going to make it so that people have to earn what they get? And then some people say, in defense of this whole thing, that these people are paying taxes. Well, shit. You earned your money here. You're supposed to pay taxes. If you earn money, you pay taxes on it. You don't have to have the right to vote. There's nothing in the Constitution that says you need to have the right to vote in order to pay taxes. You work, you make money, you pay taxes. That's the way it should be. There's no, you know, this business of getting people who are non-citizens to vote is just a ploy to keep a group of people in power. And the people in power are not doing much They're not changing this country for the better. So if they would think, I would vote against them. I would vote against them because they're not doing anything good for this country. They're only doing good for themselves. They want to remain in power. So they're giving people the right to vote. Now this madness is in its infancy. Right now these votes are for school boards and local elections. But if enough people start turning out... The next thing you'll know is that they will try to have an amendment to the Constitution to allow non-citizens to vote. That's ridiculous. 
Then you've got the local state representative, and I don't know which state we're talking about, but his name is Hal Colson, and he sponsored the bill. And he is saying he doesn't buy the fact that because you're a non-citizen, you, you're not entitled to vote. We're talking about a large, a large chunk of the community that's closed off. Well, that's too bad. If this large chunk of the community wanted to be, have the vote, they would go become citizens. I'd like to check some of these things and see how many of these people who were giving the right to vote have applied for citizenship and are waiting. That would be an interesting thing. We find out how many of these people really applied for citizenship. I'm not so sure that they want to vote, that people that are here to make a good living and stay alive. Do they really want to vote? I don't know. Why are we assuming that they all want to vote? We have citizens in this country, 35% of the citizens in this country who can vote, don't. We have the lowest, as I said before, the lowest voting percentage in the world, in the major cities, in the major countries. In the democratic countries, we have the lowest percentage. You know, in the dictatorship, they get 99% of the people to vote. Because those people know if they don't vote for the dictator, they're in deep shit. So our voting percentage sucks. And this isn't going to make it any better. So I go on and I'm going to say that you have to earn it. And earning the right to vote means you have to become a citizen. And it's important. It's important. We need more citizens. We need lots of good citizens. I am not saying that these non-citizens are bad people. I am not saying that. But the, when you go to become a citizen, you learn things about this country. And that helps us. So why? Why are these municipalities doing this? One reason and one reason only. They know that the non-citizen population, the immigrants in their city, will vote for them. If they thought they were going to vote for the opposition, you think that they would want to sponsor a bill that gives them the right of, to vote? Don't be crazy. Our politicians are out for only one thing in their lives, for themselves. There's very few politicians that you can tell me that are not putting themselves above the rights and needs of this country. They're all in the game for themselves. And we can see that. And the whole system is designed for them to stay in power. Our campaign funding is a disaster. So this business of allowing non-citizens to vote is terrible. Absolutely terrible. And then you have a congressperson, a woman, in Illinois who is saying that we have so many children who are citizens. They were born to citizens, but their parents can't vote. It's unfair that their parents can't vote. Would you want to have your child growing up knowing that his parents couldn't vote? I don't really think those kids care one way or the other. They're citizens. They will get the right to vote. Do they really care that their parents can't vote? Do the parents even care? Has there been a huge outcry by the immigrant population that we must have the vote? No. This is strictly a political thing, strictly dreamed up by Democrats. Instead of fighting hard for those states that are using voter suppression, they want non-citizens to vote. They're fighting for the wrong cause. It's time for them to fight for against voter suppression, not giving people who are not citizens the right to vote. That's it for today. Bye.